join me in congratulating, saluting, and welcoming the 2007 Black Engineer of the Year, Rodney C. Atkins. for establishing a platform of leadership and creativity for me. The IBM values are dedication to every client's success, trust, and personal responsibilities in every relationship, innovation that matters for our company and for the world. This is why I am still an employee of more than 25 years. Finally, the soul. I want to thank God for shaping my soul. His message, his message in my life has been one of humility and charity. Active with humility, humility is not to deny our own self-worth, but rather it allows us to see the dignity and worth in all people. You know, through his message, he tells us all to share generously with those in need, and good things will come in turn. When you put these four parts together, the heart, the body, the mind, and the soul, you get the core of who I am today. Now, uh, at the risk of sounding um, arrogant, and I hope you will accept this as a statement having more to do with trusting yourself and perseverance, I do want to thank myself. <laughs> you know what? You know, after all, I was involved in all of this. <laughs> You know, as I reflect um, over the last 30 years, uh, I've made many sacrifices by taking the hard courses, by accepting the hard jobs, trading off having a good time for preparing to not have a hard time. And you know what? And never, never given up when things appear to be moving too slow or stacking up against me. My journey has been a hallmark of innovation about making a difference. We need to decide on the roles we will play as an individual and also as part of a team. We need to be about change. We need to decide how we will make it better for ourselves, our communities, our businesses, and for the world. In closing, I want to leave you with my favorite quote from, from Joel Arthur Baker. And it reads, vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes time. Vision with action can change the world. I want to thank Mr. Tyrone Taborn, Career Communications, and the deans of the historically black colleges and universities for recognizing me or my responsibilities and personal commitment, inspiring hope and making a difference. But as I think about perhaps what might be the next chapter, uh, it will be something closely related to education in terms of uh, just how we can continue to develop the pipeline of talent so that we can frankly have more gifted uh, engineers and scientists uh, than me. Uh, so that would, that would be my focus in terms of my next chapter. Rodney is one of a whole line of African-American scientists and engineers who are powering the industrial enterprise today. We're gonna meet some more of them as we go down to the floor of the convention and talk to some of the best engineers and scientists in the world today. Thank you, stay tuned. We have been challenged by um, certain stereotypes and certain icons that we give in entertainment and in the media 
and we have been pushing those icons for business purposes and for financial gain or financial power. And it overshadows the education that we need to be putting out in K through 12. Children see uh, certain icons and they, they sort of seem that that's the way to be. I want to be another Michael, or I want to be another Tiger, or I want to be another whatever. But if we're going to do those same kind of NBA, NFL, Super Bowl kind of uh, arena activities, we need to treat science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in the same Super Bowl-like attitude. Hello, and I'm back. We've already seen a couple of really amazing pioneers, but let me tell you some of what you're going to see. You're going to meet a black nuclear submariner who is up to be a commander of one of the most complicated machines that was ever designed in history. You're going to meet educators who are training the next core of African-American scientists and engineers, black deans of historically black colleges with engineering programs. HBCUs train 50% of all the black engineers in America, and this is where most of the black engineers in the world are. You're also going to meet some pioneers who are developers and managers of some of the biggest technology enterprises in this country. So stay tuned.